Well, Teen Closet has been serving kids in the foster care community for a decade, giving them a place where they get to choose their clothes and their style. And it's made an incredible impact on so many people. But they need more space so that they can serve more kids. Teen Closet is about to get a brand new home, and it is going to be extreme. But before Mark Peterson and the KXY4 Extreme Team unveil the new Teen Closet next week, we want to take you back to the start of this nonprofit. Having a brand new outfit can completely change the way you walk out of the door in the morning. But for local kids and foster programs, Teen Closet hopes to do so much more than that. A lot of the kids that come in here have never owned anything new in their life. They've never had anything with a tag on it. Have never, as some girls have come in and never owned girl clothes. They've been handed down something from a cousin or in a bag that was just from, you know, Goodwill or, or whatever. It's pretty simple. Their clothes means their choice. This really gives them some pride. It gives them um, a sense of self, self-esteem. The dignity piece is so huge for us because it really is about the child who comes here who gets a choice. And a lot of times in their lives, they just have had no choices. It's a whole store just for them. Its shelves and racks are stocked by this community. I actually had one girl who said, where did you guys get all this stuff? And for me to honestly say, it's from people who don't know you and care about you. For KXOY4's Robin Nance, it started with Wednesday's Child Stories. And when she and co-founder Linda Rogers heard about a similar program in Florida, it just clicked. We thought, why can't we do something like that here? There's nothing like it that serves just this population. And so that the idea was born and here we are, 10 years later. Teen Closet has served Eastern Washington and North Idaho as a boutique unlike any other, but now it needs more space. And that's where the KXOI4 Extreme Team comes in. They'll be working hard all of next week to outfit Teen Closet with a brand new home so they can serve more teenagers and now kids as well. We'll be following along with Mark and the team all of next week as they get started and we'll bring you the stories of some of the folks that Teen Closet has helped in its 10 years. Don't miss those stories coming up next week on KXOI4 News. In Spokane Valley, Caroline Rourke, KXOI4 News. Oh, really looking forward to that. Thank you, Caroline.